In Drydock, uh, my responsibility is, is to um, ensure that all the furnishings that has been specified and designed uh, gets delivered, uh, gets purchased and uh, gets placed and that we actually configure and set up the hotel as it should be ready for occupation. As a designer, to be involved in cruise ships is great. You get involved in from doing beauty salons to nightclubs, suites, all different areas, retail shops, so you get exposed to a lot of uh, diversified design projects. The items that are on board the ship that we're purchasing, they come from all over the world. You know, the, usually the designer specifies the items and then we logistically see how how it works out to get them from point A to point B. Logistically, the ships are never at the same place all the time and a dry dock is a short window to do a lot of work. The general brief, I think, is, is to help Australia create their own identity in terms of a, a, a brand and an interior that will follow on from that. Because um, so you're inheriting a lot of ships and they have their previous identity. And it's a matter of taking what's there and building it, changing it so that it works for you guys. Not only in terms of colour and things like that, but operationally as well. The colour and waterfront, we try to keep it um, simple and contemporary. That's why we try to use a lot of dark wood in here, which is kind of like bring everything a lot more cosier and more intimate. The dome it, it itself um, started off as a, as a very strange room when it was uh, Ocean Village. It was uh, the gym was here. They put discos up here and nighttime things. And it was a, a real mishmash, a real multifunctional room. New curtains, new carpets, repainting some of the ceilings, cladding the columns with a nice timber finish. Bring some timber in. Timber always makes feel, things feel friendlier and warmer. People really res respond to timber well. And then when the furniture goes in, there'll be a selection of sofas and chairs. All sort of a, a, a nice mix and match so that uh, there's something for everybody. I think the Aussie ships is um, younger. You can feel the energy and it's not too uh, colourful, but very sophisticated. So the design as well is a lot simpler, minimal, and it's more sort of timeless design. Down in Australia, there's a real love of a white background. I think it's to do with the intensity of light you have down there and, and it reflects light beautifully um, and it also sharpens up the colours. This is the first time that we've been able to uh, really stamp uh, a market, a brand on you for the Australian and New Zealand market. Uh, by doing, we're doing the whole corridors, we're painting the corridors, we're painting the stair halls, we're doing many more public rooms. And a lot of these rooms are now a development of what you've had from the other two ships. You plan a project and then you see it implemented in such a short period. It might be two weeks, three weeks, and your designs from your beautiful renderings come to life. And it's a fast process, it takes a lot of planning, but it's very re rewarding.